Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. Let's talk about the Zombie Strike line, which first came out in 2013. It's been a bit of time, actually. The Hammer Shot and the Sledge Fire were the very first two blasters released, and they're still some of the most talked about, in my opinion. The Sledge Fire, maybe not so much. I personally love it. We could talk about it for a long time, but I'll save that for another time. The Hammer Shot, though. People still love that, and it's not too hard to understand why. Hammer action, fast firing, good for HVZ. For high level games, the hammer shot doesn't have the upgrade capabilities as other blasters do. But it's still a lot of fun to play with, it catches a lot of people's eye, and it's easy to reload. Fun, fast, all that good stuff. The hammer shot is also still very, very popular in the mod community. People make a lot of aftermarket parts for it. Cosmetics, internals, gosh, 3D printed, metal, resin casted, it's all over the place, and it's hard to ignore. I've been using a Sweet Revenge for the better part of the last five years. Not so much as I hate the hammer shot, just because I had a Sweet Revenge. It worked really well with a seven shot cylinder, and that was about all I needed it for. A good secondary, mostly. So I finally decided to put together a hammer shot that I wouldn't use as a secondary, but most likely a primary. And this is what came out of that. This is my hammer shot. It's Beret's hammer shot, there's no fancy name for it, it's just a hammer shot that belongs to me. You can notice one major kit immediately, but there's actually three main kits inside this, or pieces I should say. The first one is the Gavin Fuzzy hand cannon kit on the very front, obviously, that's the big protruding piece. Then there is an out of darts seven shot cylinder right here. And then the trigger and the hammer are actually resin casted pieces from Silver Fox Industries. Here's it on the other side. We'll take a look inside just to show you what else I've done, but overall, it's pretty simple and I'm very happy with it. This is the Gavin Fuzzy Customs hand cannon barrel kit. There are two screw ports right there and one right here. He includes three longer screws so that you can now actually secure the 3D printed parts to the original blaster, which I really like. And to get the back one on, or off in this case, you do have to prime the blaster so the hammer is out of the way. It is very, very securely on there, friction fit. Now this is the first time I've ordered something from Gavin Fuzzy Customs. And wow. I understand why people are so impressed by his work. I need an excuse now to order something else from him. That's in the best way I can put it. Now one thing that I don't love is that the barrel makes it a little bit harder to reload darts for the hammer shot now. Now that's not a knock against Gavin Fuzzy's design, it's more of just a knock against any barrel attachment for the hammer shot. But it's still relatively easy. The darts get a little bit squished when putting them in but I can still do it with relative ease and we're good to go. So priming this blaster and firing does exactly what I want it to do. Decent air seal, although now I've got to be careful if I prime it and then deprime it because the seal is decent enough to push a dart into that chamber and I need to be able to reach it to clear it. Oh boy. I love the overall profile of this kit. It reminds me a little bit of the sludge fire. Maybe that's what made me gravitate towards it. Maybe not, but it's just, oh, it's very pointable. I guess that's what you could say, pointable. Here's the cylinder from Out of Darts. This is actually a factory reject. It's a reject, I believe, because of this right here, this little mishap when the printing occurred. But I did not care. I liked that the gray kind of broke up the orange I knew that I was gonna get with the front barrel. Now the spring power you can see here is just the original spring with a small half inch CPVC spacer. I might get an upgraded spring for it. I'm not entirely sure because I like that I can prime this so quickly and without too much effort and it's a lot less stress on all the materials. So for right now, I'm not too upset with the performance. If I do want to get more out of it, I know there are some better springs I will look into. So here is the Silver Fox Industries hammer and trigger. You can see that they are exactly the same, except all these pieces are filled in where it's skeletonized on, it looks like a rabbit, on this rabbit, on this hammer. 
and here they're all nicely filled in very smooth mm, feels good and the trigger is also very very smooth here's the original one yeah perfect I ordered the exact same version so you can see those are identical but he does have an extended trigger an extended hammer and that one is actually smooth on the top and it feels so good now the reason this is in green is because green has kind of become my color some of my gear will have little green stripes on it just so I know that it's mine a little bit of a matching thing but not a huge one in this case obviously it doesn't match there's no other green on it but it does make it pretty clear then this is my hammer shot and I think it's really really cool that he has so many unique colors that you can choose from so if you wanted to get orange you could get orange or if you wanted to get black you could do that too so a lot of you are probably pretty familiar with the Gavin Fuzzy parts and probably out of darts's parts as well so talking more about Ryan from Silver Fox Industries his parts why should you choose resin casted parts over just the originals? There's definitely a little bit more strength here since this is filled in. And also because these colors are casted that way, you don't have to worry about that color or any paint getting chipped off with constant use as it would likely get chipped off in this area all over because these are moving parts and your, your hand's also gonna be on top of this all the time. He's heard that the metal hammer kit sometimes does have issues with wearing and tearing over time and so he says that testing with a lot of white lithium grease he has not seen those noticeable wear downs as he has heard about with the metal hammer kits and hopes that these will be pretty good then in their longevity if you're looking for extended hammers for both the hammer shot and sweet revenge he does also have those options also available in custom colors if you would like ryan also sells some items from open flywheel project he's slowly adding more of it and will soon be selling the new Neo Rhinos and Neo Hellcats once he gets those from Make Test Battle. If you're curious, go check out Silver Fox Industries. He's good on custom orders and also very responsive to customer questions and concerns. I've seen a lot of his work in games recently, and Ryan always shows up with some new crazy creation, so he's a heavy modder himself. So overall, I'm very pleased with the products that I got for this hammer shot. Links to all three of the sellers will be in the description box down below. I can highly recommend checking out their sites if you haven't already, most likely you have. But it's really cool that we're at a point where you can pick and choose different products from different people around the globe and you can make something that's all your own and it works. It just works perfectly. Where was this five years ago? Where was this? It's so cool. We're a community. It's awesome. This is my hammer shot. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.